The former queen requested that Fergie promptly depart from Balmoral following an embarrassing incident. Hi. Before we continue please subscribe to the channel for more British royal family news. In a dramatic turn of events at the the former queen requested that Fergie promptly depart from Balmoral following an embarrassing incident majestic Balmoral Castle in the year of 1992, the illustrious Queen Elizabeth II, with her regal authority, commanded the audacious Sarah Ferguson to hastily gather her belongings and depart from the premises. This stern decree was issued in response to a most embarrassing incident that had befallen the Duchess of York during her sojourn at the castle. Amidst the blissful summer days, when the sun cast its golden rays upon the castle's grounds, Sarah Ferguson sought solace within its walls, accompanied by her beloved daughters. However, fate had a different plan in store for her. The relentless paparazzi, ever vigilant in their pursuit of scandalous tales, captured a moment of vulnerability, forever etching it upon the pages of history. The scandalous photographs, emblazoned on the front pages of British newspapers, depicted Fergie's financial advisor, John Bryan, engaging in a peculiar act of affection towards her delicate toes. The shockwaves reverberated through the royal corridors, reaching the ears of the late Queen Elizabeth II herself. Consumed by a mixture of disappointment and indignation, the Queen swiftly issued her decree, commanding the Duchess to leave the castle without delay. Prince Philip, a man of few words, was equally affected by the scandal. The intimate images of Sarah and her financial adviser shattered any semblance of trust that had once existed between the Duke and the Duchess. Their relationship, once filled with camaraderie and respect, now lay in ruins, irreparable and forever scarred by the scandalous affair. As the dust settled and time moved forward, the Duchess of York found solace in the company of her financial adviser, John Bryan. Despite the storm of controversy that surrounded them, their bond remained unbroken, defying the judgmental eyes of the world. In a candid interview with the esteemed Lorraine Kelly on ITV in the year 2022, John Bryan revealed that he and the Duchess remained together for four years after the scandal, a testament to the resilience of their connection amidst the chaos of public scrutiny. Reflecting on the moment when a dear companion unveiled snapshots of him indulging in the peculiar act of sucking Fergie's delicate toes, John couldn't help but express his profound dismay. In his defence, he claimed that this peculiar toe-sucking escapade was merely a whimsical game he played with the young Princess Eugenie and Princess Beatrice, a figment of their vivid imaginations. During an appearance on Lorraine, John went on to commend Prince Andrew and Fergie for their commendable conduct throughout the divorce proceedings, hailing them as paragons of virtue in the realm of marital dissolution. It is worth noting that Fergie and Prince Andrew had already separated in 1992, well before the scandalous photographs of Mr. Bryant emerged, and their official divorce was finalised in 1996, marking the end of their union after almost six years of matrimony. The strain of Prince Andrew's military commitments meant that the couple spent precious little time together during the early years of their marriage a circumstance that reportedly contributed to the disintegration of their once promising relationship. In the present day, the Duke and Duchess of York continue to reside under the same roof at the esteemed Royal Lodge in Windsor. On Easter Sunday, Fergie joined Prince Andrew and other esteemed members of the royal family for the customary Easter Sunday church service at the illustrious St. George's Chapel in Windsor. In recent months, Fergie has found herself welcomed back into the royal fold, participating in the Christmas walkabout last year and attending a Thanksgiving memorial service for King Constantine II of Greece at the end of February. Furthermore, Fergie has valiantly battled against the perils of cancer, bravely facing a diagnosis of skin cancer this year, following her courageous fight against breast cancer last summer. Thank you for watching till the end. Please do share your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates.